What's up guys, welcome to Flux Fridays, a series where I provide you with information on numerous flux farming methods every single week. Today's episode is going to be about completing Neon City recipe dungeons to get scrap cases and recipes, both of which can be sold for flux on the marketplace. Remember to like and subscribe if this video helps you out, and leave a comment if you have any questions. To start things off, as per usual, I have created a pros and cons table for this flux farming method. The pros are pretty straightforward, with the item drop rates being 100% guaranteed and the fact that the items sell very quickly. As for the cons, they need a bit more of an explanation. First off, there's a bit of luck required for the world generation. Sometimes you'll encounter a ton of recipe dungeons right next to each other, while other times you'll be looking for a recipe dungeon for 5 minutes straight. Generally it isn't too hard to find these recipe dungeons, but you can get very unlucky. In addition to this, the price of neon recipes and scrap cases vary greatly. I've seen the recipes sell for as little as 200 flux, sometimes rising to 400 or 500 flux, while the scrap cases sell between 1400 to 2000 flux. In general though, these cons aren't typically an issue, but I figured I'd mention them in case you encounter situations like these. Now it's time to get into the details of this flux farming method. To farm Neon City recipe dungeons, head over to the Neon City Uber 3 world. This world is the best way to generate Neon City recipe dungeons since the majority of the biomes here will be Neon City. Once you've loaded into the world, open your map and look for any nearby recipe dungeon icons in the Neon City biome. If you don't see any recipe dungeons, simply look for an unexplored Neon City area. Once you've arrived at a Neon City recipe dungeon, clear the dungeon and break the chest at the end. Each Neon City recipe dungeon chest is guaranteed to give you one Neon recipe and one Neon City scrap case. In order to actually make flux from this farm, you can sell these two items on the marketplace. At the time of recording, each Neon recipe can be sold for around 500 flux, while each Neon City scrap case can be sold for around 2000 flux. Similar to the Titan's treasure chest from last week's episode, the Neon City scrap cases can be opened for a chance to receive more flux than you'd get by selling them directly to the market. However, I don't recommend doing this since more often than not you'll receive way less flux by opening them and will probably end up with one third or one fourth of the flux that you'd get by selling the cases straight to the marketplace. One quick thing to note about this farming method is that, obviously, the faster you are, the better the farm is. Damage isn't really much of a concern since it's uber 3, so you want to have as much mobility as possible. Because of this, I recommend using the trailblazing emblem, which gives you bonus move speed every time you use a flask. Also, if you have a move speed build for the neon ninja or dino tamer, it will speed up this farm drastically. That's it for this episode of Flux Fridays. All in all, this isn't the fastest farm in existence, but it is an insanely easy and accessible farm. Be sure to like and subscribe if this helped you out in your never-ending quest for Flux. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.